Speaking of China, our Phil LeBeau is live in Tennessee today ahead of GM's Investor Day, where China will be a key focus for Mary Barra. Hey, Phil. Hey, Carl, it will be a focus because China, which was once a strength and a profit driver for General Motors, has now become a drag and a big question about what happens in the future, especially after losing $210 million in China in the first half of this year. So three topics will get a lot of attention today. First of all, how does General Motors plan to cut those losses and adjust its footprint in China? Essentially a restructuring there. EV growth? We were just over at the Altium Cell, the battery plant here in Spring Hill, as well as at the GM Spring Hill plant, where they're doing flexible manufacturing between ICE models and the EV models. And the other question is, are we at peak profitability for General Motors? There are more than a few people out there who say, yeah, I don't think it gets much better than this, given the headwinds that are out there as we head into 2025. So as you take a look at shares of General Motors, a couple of things to keep in mind. They ex remain extremely bullish about their prospects when it comes to EVs specifically the fact that they grew them by 60 percent in the third quarter relative to last year and they're up sequentially they continue to pick up market share within the ev business here in the u.s and they say they're just scratching the surface there especially with models like the equinox ev which is a lower priced model we're going to talk with mary barra about this and so much more an exclusive interview we'll be having her comments a little bit later on today guys we'll send it back to you for now